out and about and trying to protect the health system. But listen, right where you are, you can worship God. You can feel His presence. If you have to be in the building to feel God's presence, you have to check again if it is okay with you. Amen. So that's why we are streaming that you can be with us and we give God the praise. Yes, we have had to make adjustments. And let me just say right now, uh, we cannot uh, go forward with our harvest service plan for next week. We have to make adjustments. So we just have to wait on the government and then we can make other uh, plans and decisions. But guess what? We don't have to wait on the government to be in the spirit of God. Can we give God praise? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, we just worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. So we listen. We are going to church and we are glorifying God. As you listen, Minister Vickers pray this morning, you'll realize that we are also going to do a baptismal service. We are going to carry out the act of baptism this morning. Hallelujah. Can we give God praise for that today? We give God glory and we give Him praise for this uh, opportunity today. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We encourage each person uh, to continue to do what is right, what is appropriate, what is good, to keep everyone safe. Praise the name of the Lord. The scripture in Romans chapter 6 from verse 1, it says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. We who died to sin, how shall we any longer live therein? Or are we ignorant that all we who were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? That life as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so we also might walk in newness of life. For we, if we have become united with him in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away, that we should no longer be in bondage to sin. For he that has died is justi uh, justified from sin. But if we die with Christ, we believe we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, died no more, Death no more hath dominion over him. For the death that he died, he died unto sin once. But the life that he liveth, he liveth unto God. I saw at verse 11, Sister Sharon, and it says, Even so, reckon ye also yourself to be dead unto sin, but alive unto God through Christ Jesus. That's Romans chapter 6 from verse 1 to 11. It's a very important text. What you are doing this morning, you are accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You are also demonstrating that you connect yourself to the likeness of his death and also the likeness of his resurrection. And then verse 11 says, Reckon yourself to the one who is dead to sin but alive unto God. In other words, you are not doing this to the church, you are doing it to the Lord Jesus Christ. You are doing it as a relationship established with Jesus Christ. And so, the Bible says, reckon yourself. I always love to say, count yourself as one, because guess what? I have connected with him in death. That's why sometimes baptism is called burial. So the Bible says, when you go down, you are buried with him in baptism, but you rise to walk in newness of life. Can the church give God praise today? Those who are at home rejoice today 
Praise God. I'm glad our sister made the request. The Bible says the angels in heaven rejoice over one who gives their life to the Lord. And we give God praise also as a church. He's the God of the sea this morning. Even the wind 
and the way back to obey him this morning. So no matter what you're going through this morning, remember the God of peace this morning. He said, peace be still. Peace be still in your financial problem. He's the God. He's the God of the mountains. He's the God and the Father this morning. Oh God, when He speaks this morning, He speaks like no other this morning. So this morning, remember this morning, He speaks into the midst of the storm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to go right into our tithes and our offering. Those of us are here as Sister Carl will come and sing for the offering this morning. Praise God, hallelujah. Father, we give you praise this morning. Lord, we give you thanks this morning for who you are. Lord, as we bring back a part of that which you have blessed us with this morning, I pray, mighty God, we go to the extension of your word this morning to the building of your kingdom. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, have your way this morning. Take full control, Lord God, as we give you praise and we give you thanks. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
invitation. And after Sister Carol, we'll hear from Sister Bacchus. Praise God. The King of Kings this morning. He's worthy to be exalted. Hallelujah.
when we are in the heat of the battle. But I want us to know that though we are in the heat of the battle, it is God's hands that make us strong. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He promised that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. No matter how the going gets rough and it does get going, he will be here right by our side because his promise is true and he said he will never leave us or forsake us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is amazing that throughout the history of the human race, God's hand has been upon his people. No matter how things seem, his hand is upon his people. A lot of the things that are already taken place is written in the word of God. Sometimes when we look into the word of God, we say, but wait, this is something that we have gone through. All of the things that we could ever go through in life is written in the word for us to see, for our lives.
We are 
It is not enough to be saved. It is not enough to be just saved. There are a lot of saved people today who have never had an encounter. We need to find time to speak with Jesus Christ. So that when the pestilence come, when the hours by night come, when the terror comes, we are able to stand strong under these circumstances and fight to win. Praise the Lord.
was at the point of death. Time is of the essence. When we look at our fifth formers and eleven graders, some of them are clueless. That time is of the essence. Some of them use this pandemic time to relax. They are not even prepared for the season exam that is coming up. They are not even prepared. In the midst of the cold, a woman, in the midst of the cold, a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years came home to Jesus. And she was saying to herself, if I could just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, I know I will be healed. Just a while ago, I talked about the eleven and the farmers. While one set of students is in their comfort zone, relax, another set is saying, if I could just have a tablet, if I could just have a phone, if I could just have one of those gadgets, I know that I will do well. Some persons have, some persons do not have, but some 
is over. I do not need to follow Jesus again. Everything that I have feared has happened. My husband is dead. My child is dead. Everything that I feared had happened. I want to tell somebody today, it is not ever a bother to Jesus. It is not ever a bother to him. Some of us need to start bothering the teacher again. For the little girl that has lost her dream. For those who are depressed and can't find their way out. We need to start bothering the teacher again. And don't give room to the spirit of discouragement and failure. Because we have a little girl inside of us who needs to arrive. A little girl that needs to see this generation of young people. Be very sure. 
sure. Be very sure. The anchor holds and grips the solid rock. I invite you this morning. Make sure you are gripping that solid rock. God bless you today. Praise the name of Jesus. Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for his words this morning. Hallelujah. Is your anchor hold this morning? Hallelujah. Are you gripping that solid rock this morning? Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank Minister Bacchus this morning for availing herself to be used by God. As you are out there this morning, hallelujah. Just close your eyes today, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you want to bother your father? Don't think it's a bother when you call upon Jesus this morning. He said call and you will hear and answer prayer. He's a prayer answering God this morning, hallelujah. He's there waiting for us, waiting to hear us call upon him today. I invite us to stand this morning, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The anchor holds. Though the ship is battered, the anchor holds. Though the sails are torn. Let the peace of God be our strength this week. God bless you.